Well, hello, vinyl community. It's Jacob coming to you from the Dallas Open Mic Air YouTube channel with a uh, slightly sunburned nose pimple tonight. Uh, this uh, physical ailment is, uh, is not the primary focus of this video. What I'd like to talk about is, uh, well, one of the worst things that could happen to a fella uh, when uh, you're looking forward to uh, John Hyatt coming to Dallas with uh, none other than Sonny Landreth. Um, you know, John Hyatt uh, put out, uh, oh, I had it backwards. Put out this record here with Sonny Landreth back in uh, 1988, I believe, and uh, oh, they uh, they they teamed up together on an anniversary tour not that long back. Played the House of Blues in Dallas, and uh, oh, that was a wonderful night. Not only did they uh, they play this record in its entirety, they played a, a wonderful song about a tiki bar. Um, here's the uh, for those of you that like to look at the pictures. I am frankly I'm just here to hear myself talk. These are like props. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, John Hyatt in a trucker's cap. He's got this kind of like uh, Nick Cave looking hairdo here in this uh, in this cover photo or this liner photo. I've taken the record out. Um, I've got it in a sleeve down there in the outer sleeve. I, You don't need me to waste your time uh, with the taking the record in and out. And then the worst is when people put it back in afterwards and they stop everything. Um, you can you can do that after you're done filming. Um, but anyway, I've been looking forward to uh, John Hyatt coming to town with Sonny Landreth. Um, and uh, there, were, there were these targeted ads I was getting on Facebook. You know, it's, it's coming soon, you know, last chance, you know. It... it it won't be here, uh, won't, John Hyatt won't be here forever, you know, it's like, uh, you know how mortality works, is uh, um, the people that you like to see in concert, they die, and uh, then you're left with young people that you don't want to see in concert, uh, so you, you better you better see uh, the senior citizens uh, while you have the chance before they, before they leave this earth, as, uh, you know, there aren't many people under the age of 65 that are are really that entertaining um but uh as as the the concert was approaching i was afflicted with the, the covid fatigue i got i got run down and uh then there was a car repair issue that that came up and uh, sapped my time and energy and uh i uh i watched the opportunity to, to see uh john hyatt slip slip away from me as I knew that uh, the fatigue had gotten the best of me um, but uh, I uh, I I wasn't going to give up without a fight um, I, I knew that uh, you know uh, I couldn't let myself go home after work sit on the couch feel sorry for myself um, so uh, on, on on the way home I, I passed a half price books and uh, I, I, I uh, treated myself to uh, what what uh, what the women like to call retail therapy and uh, I'll show you what I found um, now does this replace the uh, unforgettable moment I could have had with a John Hyatt and Sonny Landreth at the House of Blues no, no, but uh, the s small comforts. I, I didn't have to uh, drive down to the West End neighborhood in Dallas, which is it's become a real hellhole down there. Um, it's just gone down the tubes um, since I uh, since I moved out to uh, this part of the country in 2008. So uh, that's a plus. I got to uh, park in a nice, s s relatively safe suburban shopping center. And uh, go into half price books and uh, picked up some records. Let's let's see what I got, folks. I got this Roger Miller record that I I don't I didn't already have. And uh, what's neat about this one? Let me zoom in here. You recognize some of those names? Buddy Emmons. These are like uh, real deal country music sessions artists as uh, Roger says hey back before I was uh, singing silly songs about roller skates and stuff 
um, I was I was writing these old uh, songs of heartbreak and pain for for the likes of Ray Price, George Jones, Ernest Tubb, and others. And uh, although this doesn't look very honky tonk or western swing, um, there is a bit of a, a honky tonk vibe to this this record. It's a it's a Mercury. Um, got some light scuffs on here. I've done needle drops on all of these. Uh, but uh, have not gone and gotten the good. They haven't taken a bath yet. But uh, anyway, this uh, this is definitely a keeper. Um, I don't know what the deal is with this album cover. Um, very strange choice of uh, font. Roger going up, Miller going down. A trip in the country. Interesting. But uh, look at that. Buddy Emmons steel guitar. Let's uh, let's continue and see what else I found. Uh, here's a here's a record that I I used to well I still have on CD. I've also got a scratched copy of this record that uh, my wife picked up at an estate sale for fifty cents. Uh, but uh, here we have Alice Cooper's greatest hits with this uh, Drew Struzan cover. Um, the great illustrators of our time. Some of his illustrations can get a little creepy and occulty. He's got a little eye of Horus that he likes to incorporate in his signature these days. Oh, if he's still alive. Uh, he might have passed recently without, uh, you know, not to my knowledge. But uh, I like this old time 1930s Hollywood uh, um, theme going here with the old Alice Cooper band. Um, Terrific pencil drawings. There's a. Uh, we even got Humphrey Bogart in the trench coat, although that uh, Humphrey Bogart look is more uh, early 40s. Humphrey Bogart was making movies in uh, the 30s, um, oftentimes playing second fiddle to the likes of Edward G. Robinson or someone like that, or even George Raft. Uh, there you go. Look at that Groucho. Let's see the. Uh, the artwork here on the inside is not quite as well rendered. So that on this one the heads are a little larger proportionally to the bodies and it looks kind of it looks more cartoony. Um, but that says Garland. Was this this was perhaps rendered by a less talented artist? I don't know. This is Garland down there. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, there's uh, Marilyn Monroe. So we have uh, some f well, 50s actresses there. Interesting. Um, anyway, that's a, that's enough talk about that one. Those, Alice Cooper does have a nice singing voice, though. Uh, I don't think a lot of people give him credit for that. I'm... Uh, you know, not all too big on the the, the guillotine stuff that he does. Um, I could take a pass on that, but uh, a good good uh, good vocalizer, good good singer, doesn't get enough credit for that one. Uh, here's one. It's got this wonderful font, like uh, you remember that sitcom Newhart from the 1980s, where Bob Newhart uh, ran the inn in Vermont, and he had a he had a, a television show called Vermont Today. There's uh, Chet Atkins using that kind of font. And uh, what stood out on this one, look at that. Side B, track one, take five. That uh, Paul Desmond got the writing credit. It was kind of a collaborative effort from the, uh, the old Dave Brubeck Orchestra, of course, on the Time Out album. And uh, this is a quite a fun listen there. I, I did a needle drop. Did not get into that Charlie Chaplin number, Smile. But uh, then we got uh, Charlie Chaplin. We got uh, Dave Brubeck with Paul Be Paul Desmond. And we got uh, me and Bobby McGee. Um, and we got a uh, cover of The Claw, the uh, Jerry Reed number. So uh, uh, quite a quite a happy pickup there. What uh, some folks like to call cheap heat. And uh, here's a... 
a reasonably priced item I picked up that I already have, but uh, it was, it was uh, I believe, cleaner than the one I already have, so it could be an upgrade. And uh, it's got that, uh, kind of like the uh, stock photo of Willie Nelson that got uh, reused a few times, but uh, there's something I never noticed about this, um, is that uh, Willie Nelson is wearing New Balance tennis shoes. Um, pretty cool. And uh, that style of tennis shoes has come back. Um, generally, not a, I'm not known as a fashionable man. Um, I recognize this my uh, my comedy shirt that uh, that I've, I've shown in previous videos. But uh, uh, I, I I did get a compliment on this shirt today. But uh, you know, it's about the only shirt I have that does get compliments. Um, but uh, anyway. Um, I'm sorry I bumped the tripod. I do have these uh, New Balance sneakers, kind of a retro style. They got a little dirty um, in the rain. I haven't uh, scrubbed the foam down, but uh, they look a lot like uh, you know those old tennis shoes that Willie Nelson was wearing in the uh, in the photo there. Where did I put it again? Let's let's take a look. was uh, way ahead of his time there, Willie Nelson, wearing retro shoes in 1979. Well, that's, that's, my, that's my little uh, retail therapy haul. Um, did, not, uh, did not go see John Hyatt, but I am back in the saddle attending concerts again when, I, uh, when I'm not to, too worn out to, uh, to go out for a show. Um, I uh, even have a ticket stub here to prove it. This one, um, Dale Watson. I that was a standing room show. I stood for an hour and a half in a hot, sweaty room with some some hot, sweaty Dale Watson fans. Um, had a good time. Um, body was aching afterwards. Um, had a more comfortable concert experience in the air-conditioned uh, Fair Park uh, Music Hall. Uh, with the wife back in uh, July, we saw Kraftwerk, their 3D, you know, their Kraftwerk 3D tour. Uh, it was entertaining. Um, it's not. Uh, it wasn't really stuff that I that I knew, um, but uh, um, the the missus uh, suggested it would be a, a fun show, and uh, oh, we had a good time. They uh, they they did mostly instrumental numbers about uh, mundane everyday things or objects like. Uh, um, uh, what what was one song about uh, uh, neon lights? There you go. Anyway, that's I uh, thought I might have had something down there for show and tell, but let's call this the end of the video. I can uh, get this done under 14 minutes, and uh, that shows that I've uh, you know I'm capable of personal growth. Anyway, if you uh, would like to see another video of mine, I'll I'll post post something right here for you to watch. Take care, everybody. Uh, avoid the sun.